the study of insects is cool. My name's Rob and I'm an entomologist. Why don't you come along with me today and I'll show you what an entomologist does. Insects are everywhere. You can find them in the grass, around your feet, in the soil, in the trees. You can find them in your house, in the food that you eat. They have something to do with everything in our lives. So entomology is simply the study of insects. And entomologists are people who look at insects from any perspective. Insects are the strangest, the weirdest, some of the most beautiful things that you'll ever encounter. So why are insects so important? They do all sorts of different things, many of them good for us, even though most of us tend to think of them as being pests or irritating or they bite or sting us. But in fact, they're incredibly important for all different types of plants. Now, not everybody is necessarily gonna to want to have thistles produce seed, but pollination by insects is some of the most important functions that they have in the ecosystems around us. Many of you probably like fruit, like peaches or apples or oranges. All of those things depend on insects for pollination, to transfer the pollen from one flower to another so that the fruit can be produced. In fact, even if you don't like fruits, I'll bet that most of you like a chocolate bar every now and then. And even chocolate relies on a little midge to be able to have pollen transferred so that it can produce the fruits that eventually produce chocolate. And frankly, I'd rather have the chocolate than the thistles too. This is one of the things that an entomologist would use to capture insects. This is called a malaise trap, and it's really just like a sort of tent, except nobody sleeps in it. What it has is a barrier in the middle. The insects fly into it. They go up towards the light and they end up in this little bottle at the top, fall down and are preserved in this alcohol that's down at the bottom. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change this bottle because it's been up here for a few days. We're gonna take it back into the lab and we're gonna examine it under the microscope to see what different types of insects we've got this time around. Studying insects is a constant source of fascination for me. There are so many different kinds, different forms out there, sometimes even in your own backyard. Entomologists are discovering new species of insect every day, and they're out there in huge numbers. Who knows, maybe you'll be the person to describe a new species of insect and help tell the world about it. Thank you.